Establishing network connection. Well, hello, Miss Mary Bomar. Welcome to the Media Traffic Show. Hello, Tracy. How are you? Always blessed. You know that. I understand. As sure. you are as well. That's right. You know that's right. You know that's right. Now, I just want to take a little moment to introduce you to our viewing audience here. You are the CEO of a perfect silhouette intimates boutique. Tell us a little more about your who's who and what you do. Well, thanks for asking, first of all. It's really a pleasure to be in this business because I get a chance to impart my knowledge with women who are, I always call them, um, they're searching for something and they just can't find it yet. So I'm like the gold mine in the rough when they find me. I like that. Most of my clients, um, I hate to use the term, but it is a term that is true. Hard to fit. So, bingo. We have a perfect example of what it means to find a perfect fit with the audience that you're trying to track as you disrupt out of control communications to build your media and public relationships. And a content media traffic jam, it is so important that you and your message stand out. How does that happen? By creating a perfect fit atmosphere that will shape the values that you and your ideal audience both share. You want to go beyond the broad way of demographic data and make sure that you're tapping into their unmet needs that create an opportunity at the right moment with your message. You shop at all the uh, your routine stores and as far as the sizing and the structure you need, it's just not a normal item that's not that stock. So it's either you're online, but now I can bring that special environment to the to my customers. And I'm really glad and honored that they do shop with me. And not only do I bring the garment, I also bring the knowledge. And you've got a you know a global audience here, so so it's it's pretty wonderful to be able to just pour a little bit on those of us who are a little voluptuous and we uh, need a certain garment that's going to add and complement. Absolutely. So Mary, tell us, what inspired you to go into this business? Because uh, daily, you actually have a corporate obligation. And I do, and I do have a corporate obligation. but. I tell you, it, it came to a point where I was just kind of sick and tired of being sick and tired hmm. and complaining about things because hmm. I couldn't find the fit that I needed. Okay. And I had a wonderful pleasure when I was a young girl. My aunt took me to get fitted and I had never been to a bra fitter before. She was a little old lady, but it was awesome. She measured me and, you know, stand up straight and, you know, hold your arms up and let's get around the back. And it was, it was really interesting to have that done and I never forgot about it. I went through my own adolescence and I've always been a voluptuous woman. Mm -hmm. So I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. So I went into the business. Now that has to be challenging and for our women entrepreneurs and our women viewers, I just want you to speak to them because, you know, the kind of work that you do every day is really heavy mental kind of work. I know you, you're in the tech industry. And so um, the challenge of starting your own business added on to those demands. I'm sure someone can relate. Yeah, we doing that too. Have you ever heard anyone say, when you do what you love, you never work a day in your life? Absolutely. And it's the truth. Who could have two careers that they're in that you can say that you don't really work a day in your life? I got into the technical industry. I was very young and I've had wonderful mentors who have um, poured into me who have structured me to take the correct classes and 
to learn certain business ethics and to always be open to the customer and the phrase that the customer is always right um, to make sure that customer feels like they're the only customer that you have. Absolutely. So those are foundational things that reported me at a very, very young age. And with going through technical school and going to college and still being older when I was in college because I did pay my own way. Because wow. I understood the importance of, should we say the almighty dollar? So the wonderful, thing, right. the wonderful thing about being in, in, I'll say in corporate America, you do see very many, many facets of business from um, the financial to the, to the technical. And I've always leaned more on the technical because I'm a little geeky, I guess you could say. I, I love the, I am the phones too. and the PCs and the, the iPads and iPads. I, I love that industry. Cool. And it's a wonderful blessing to be in it. But I also, what I always gravitated to was the people side. And I could hold, my mother used to say I could hold a conversation with a leaf and it, I've oh. always, always gravitated to it. I'm very comfortable with one person or a hundred people. That's never been a problem with me. So I decided, well, if I can do that and I can be a success of that, I believe in me just enough that I can do something else that's personal. And this is the personal side. It's really my it is about people. It is. It really is. I don't care what kind of business that you're in. There's a human on the That's end right. of the transaction That's um, right. of whatever it is you're in the business of transacting. And so I want to say to you, you know, you go, sister, because it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, it is. But you shared that you went into a business uh, well, if I'm hearing you correctly, of uh, providing a solution that you searched Absolutely. for and couldn't find. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's meaningful to you. That would be the buy-in for me. Um, I haven't encountered anyone that is as um, knowledgeable, I think, is one thing. But there's the art of a sale. Yes, there is. There most certainly is. Absolutely. And when it comes to women, and this particular show is airing on a women's broadcasting television network where the content is created by women and for women. So can we just speak very matter-of-factly to when women talk differently to women than they do to men? When it comes to purchasing foundation garments that's a word that i know that you love to use that you <laughs> actually embrace because it conveys what you're building yes what right. you're building your outfit on and even what you're building your statement you know i put this shirt on today and i walked past the mirror and i said hmm Really could have used, you know, that little slimmer underneath. Cinch. Little cinching. I was going to say cinch. <laughs> but sometimes, and keeping it real, a cinch isn't going to get it. <laughs> well, I understand. I need a slimmer. I understand it. Compression. Yeah. Angles, perception-wise, I want to aesthetically present where everything comes together nicely. Yeah. And the eye isn't distracted mm -hmm. because I got everything else going on. That's right. And this one thing is just kind of pooching out right here. So you have those kind of garments in your inventory and your offerings. The garments that I have... I have long ones, I have slimmer underwear, I have slimming high top underwear, I have slimmer underwear that has longer legs, I have some that are even long down to the to the knee. So you can get the slimming proportion from the cinching of the waist all the way down to the slimming of the thighs. You got us all covered, huh? And it is. And it is. And also 
there's t there's t uh, tank tops that you can wear. Okay. Like enough to slimming, they can go under the under the bust, or they can go totally over you know, over the shoulder, which will be over the bust line, and add the same smoothing and shaping and slimming. So shaping, you know, hence the name of your business and your brand, a perfect silhouette. No matter what shape and size the woman is, you're saying every one of them is just perfect as it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so you are accessorizing it, you are uh, accenting it, and as well as embellishing of supportive garments. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the girls. <laughs> okay, let's talk okay. about the girls. Girls need support. Support? Whether we're Rich. talking about material, texturally, and also in life. Well, yeah, you know, it's it, it's like it's like the shapewear. You just have to find the right fit for you, so it complements what you're wearing. And also, if your girls are sizable, you also want to find the garment that's going to help your back. Because when when you can get the correct bra on and the correct sizing, it's amazing amazing how much different you feel oh comfort level and i think sometimes we're so busy going about our lives that it's an afterthought when it's time to get mm -hmm. dressed you know and then what about young girls who when you're going through puberty and your maturational changes you know, our bodies change depending on what Absolutely. stage of development we're in. And Absolutely. so in puberty, your bra size is going to change going into it. Absolutely. Transitioning through it. Then you get in those childbearing years and then you migrate into your hormonal years. And then, you know, only the creator knows what happens menopause is there then you'd have to deal with gravitational changes and and those type of things that that our frames are subject to bras are i think uh, a garment that changes as we change and that we need to visit a fitter can we talk about the support and how a bra should really should fit good look never good look mm -mm. and as your as bra sizing is being done at least the way i do it on my customers i try to educate because i really do understand that an inch is an inch but sometimes depending on where the garment is manufactured and where it's sewn it may not be the inch that we're accustomed to and also it depends on the materials where the garment is made out of and if the garment has more stretch is it a two-way stretch Ah. Is it a four-way stretch? What are the Directional. Cups? Yes, two-way oh or four-way. Oh my goodness. Yes. So also, what, what's the cup made out of? Is the cup molded so it's not going to move? Or is the cup going to be more of a stretchy so you can fill the cup a little differently? So there's things to take into consideration when you're shopping for your garment. So if you say, well, I bought this bra and it's a 36D and I brought this bra it's a 36D, they both fit me totally different. Well, let's take a look at those those areas that I mentioned before. So you don't get angry at yourself because maybe you had to go up with maybe an inch, two inches, went to a 38. Take a look at where the garment's coming from. That's and that does. Oh. And it does. Thank it needs to be taken into consideration. Thank you for sharing those things with us, Miss Mary. It kind of invites us into your process and, and gives us uh, an idea of how unique uh, a service you offer. I can't think of where you can just um, access a bra fitter. Um, Thank most you. of us, most of us, truth be told, we're going to share the same challenge that you have. Or mm -hmm. our mainstream retailers only cover certain range of sizing. And then we've got these dimensional challenges and directional challenges and you know, comfort 
is a factor, price is a factor, Absolutely. image is a factor. And then what about if you if you are challenged? Sometimes we come with these mindsets, oh, I don't have enough in the cup. I just really want maybe something that's more padded so I can have the appearance because, you know, I want this. And that's okay, too. Skin. These are real issues. Yeah, that's okay, too. Yeah. Sure it is. And then, or we have someone that says, well, I just want to look sexy all the time. And Absolutely. So I didn't come here to just get, you know, my grandmother's darted 1920, <laughs> you know. I actually don't have any of those. <laughs> Well, that's excellent. That lets us know that you have some uh, current, up-to-date, uh, modern woman offering. I, I can get you something a little cuter than that. I heard that. I heard that. got some purple and some pink. How about that? <laughs> so, now, you, and then it's per so perfect for the spring season, right? That's right. So, you that's are right. not your mother's bra fitter. Or I would say probably fitter. not. But I can fit your but I can fit your mother. How about that? Hey, can Thank you? Me. So do you have you can take care of uh, I can. the daughter, mama and the daughter I can. this mother's day? I, I That's can. wonderful. Participate in events. So you do parties and all kind of other things where we can actually, you know, have an experience. And that's exactly what I like to do. I like to contribute. And I like to educate, and I do want it to be an experience. And I want it to be a positive experience. Because when it is a positive experience, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna tell somebody. That's right. And th there is no greater form of advertising that I can even think of as by you sharing that with Very someone. Sure. Because it lets me know that I did something right. And you were very pleased with my service. That is the truth. And speaking of sharing, you know, you just got back from a wonderful, wonderful excursion. I know that you were out there getting up to date on, you know, <laughs> what are the trends I in was. the industry, building uh, professionally, making sure that you are delivering exceptional, exceptional products, uh, your client, your customer base. But after that you took a little time for you and you came back a different person i got some rest <laughs> it and was wonderful rest, and what does rest do in it rejuvenates of... you it oh, does hey. but you came back just with this um sense of greater purpose that um i really want to share more of myself um as wonderful it is that you are my pr client it was delightful to hear that you were absolutely convinced that what you're doing currently now everything leading up to what you've done to now that from this point forward you have a purpose that's so much greater than you. It's much bigger than me. It oh, really, really is. oh, and I share that with you. And so you said, now here are some of the things that I am going to do. Yes, and ma one of those things is you just started right out, didn't wait and said, I am going to address the issue of domestic violence to bring more awareness and right in your community. Absolutely. We, we just got off a conversation about communication in unity. Yep. Coming together, making the word community. Right at Safe Passages Women's Shelter in DeKalb, Illinois. And that's very close to my heart. I did an internship there uh, with the executive director. And I can tell you, going back from the late 90s to where they are now um we still have so much work to do there and is a lot you can't, you can't provide enough help and support so in the area of sharing and caring about your community extended beyond your salon you have taken something that resembles support for women and it does doesn't it it does Built around the very things that hold our feminine parts. 
Well, you know, when when you have to leave very quickly sometimes just for safety's sake, mm -hmm. you do leave precious things behind. Ooh. And, and some of those things you leave behind um, are some of the things that you need for everyday living. Yes. So I thought, well, wow. Since I'm in abundance, I've been blessed. I'm in yes, such you abundance. Praise. I, I can surely pull in a couple of my thousand good friends and have them partner with me to give back. Absolutely. Surely I can do that. So my offer is for every two gently used bras that's brought into my store, I'll give a new one. And we're going to make a difference. We're going to make a difference. We're going to make a, we're going to help women to feel again. I'll use my tagline again. Mm. Good in their own skin. And sometimes it takes just, just a special undergarment to make that happen. And I believe when we all collectively work together for the good, we can make good things happen. And I want to bless them. That's the nature of it. That's the whole. That's all it is. And you it's are a blessing. I haven't. I haven't encountered anyone that has uh, come into uh, connection with you and walked away feeling any less than. I can't wait to roll out some of the reels that I have as I've been uh, curating some of the different voices and testimonies and the emotions of these women who say, oh yeah, Miss Mary is, is really a good friend to be now because, you know, this solved a problem for me. But what you're doing with um, this domestic of violence awareness issue by absolutely giving them something that symbolizes lifting and support and comfort, I think is, 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 is truly, truly powerful. And so we're definitely going to be spreading the word. And I'm hoping that those of you who are a viewing audience will listen. Um, Mary, if you would share your website address, can people, um, donate and contribute through your online shopping portal or reach out to you on social media. Tell us Absolutely. how we can do that so we can hold also be those responders. To help. That'd be awesome. My Facebook page is my business name, which is a perfect silhouette. My website is www perfect. No, a just perfect silhouette.com. And you can also, I have a shopping portal. And I'm going to put a link on this shopping portal that says, I want to donate. And what you can do with that link, it's going to send you to a page that tells you how you can just bag it and mail it to me. And I will send you back a special thank you. So give me tell about midnight tonight. I'm going to have it up and running for you. Now that shopping portal that I have is a perfect silhouette.com. So no matter where you go, you're going to find me and anything that you have that is gently worn, that you would like to contribute, that will just add one more new bra in the basket for someone who really needs. And I would really, really appreciate it. That's so, awesome. That is awesome. You can get a hold of me. You okay. can always call my business. <clears throat> it's 815-596-0866. If you leave a voicemail, it will text it to me also. Okay, now you have a texting communication system too i would love it if you would share that and then viewers if you look down right now at the screen here i'm going to have that information available for you as well well you could always text me at that number okay so the 815-596-0866 that will actually oh that's come it out. okay perfect yep. that will come directly to me <coughs> great yep directly to me. All right. Well, I applaud you for knowing how to reach your audiences and making it convenient to connect and interact with you <coughs> and um, uh, be able to support this project that you have going on. It's wonderful. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to get the word out. Absolutely. Domestic violence is real. It's, um, <coughs> it really, really is. It's and then I want to say this. Um, the challenge of being able to grasp the attention when everyone has something that they're pushing or they're marketing, um, is real. 
Mm -hmm. But when you take the time to <coughs> consider an issue that you can meet and that you can address as a business owner, my gosh, Mary, how that just disrupts the traffic jam mm. and allows you and what you're doing to come become more prominent. Love it. More visible. Has that it. have you noticed a difference? I have definitely noticed a difference. And I'm glad to find that people are partnering with me on this endeavor. Because I believe, like I said before, we can make a difference. <clears throat> There's so much more that can be done. So much more. Absolutely can. How do you think that um, media and public relations, getting out the press releases, and actually um, uh, the word of mouth, um, how is that building your business? Tremendously. I Actually, today I had a message from someone <laughs> who was in Florida today. And she really? asked, yeah, through my Facebook page, um, she asked me, she, she said, well, um, are you only taking bras? I'm like, oh, at this time I am. Oh. But I'm like, Florida, really? So it, it is, it's, um, it's working. It, it is working. So those of you, if you're not in Illinois and you do want to be part of this, come on aboard. I, I'd love to have you. I think it's an awesome opportunity. Maybe we can do this in your city. Miss Mary travels, you know. Absolutely. So, give her a reason to touch down and, and, you know, have a pampering party with you. And, of course, you can reach Miss Mary uh, through her publicist right here. Email desk at beneficence.com. And all we have to do is coordinate it another team. Maybe you're that entrepreneur, that business owner that says, yes, I want to partner with Mary Bomer. I want to partner with The Perfect Silhouette. I think there's something that I can contribute to. Mary, couldn't we absolutely coordinate a team that could also pool together the resources and ship those things to you? Absolutely. And vice versa, make the exchange and get them where they can go. Absolutely. Absolutely. The more, the merrier. Come on aboard. All right. Absolutely. And, okay. And so, so let's do that. We're going to open that up and then I'll leave the contact information for you to get in touch with Miss Mary. Thank you so much for coming on and being a guest and sharing your product, your services, your profession, and your passion with our show viewers taking on the responsibility of earning your media connecting the values that you have with that audience that you want to build relationship with whether it's the media or the public that's the key to success today it is it's all about it. it's all about that meshing of value Mm -hmm. So this is one of the ways that we do that. I'd love to have you back. Please love come back again. And, you know, who knows, maybe the next time that you come back, we may actually have a channel to point our viewers to where they can learn even more about your who's. And that is true. So just stay tuned for that news. That's right. That's right. It's on the horizon. All right. Sound, sound so good. So again, once again, thank you, Mary. Thank you, viewers. You are watching the Media Traffic Show. And stay tuned for our very next episode. Hearing a story like that, inspiring, authentic, and definitely a story that we can all relate to. Here is an entrepreneur who became her own service solution provider.
and based on our own experiences and intimately identifying those unmet needs that she had and could not find supply by the retail industry for her perfect silhouette providing services with a human connection, special custom care of service that a sensitive niche demographic could certainly appreciate and would love to make a decision to transact with in terms of her business and her brand. Perhaps you're that girl that knows that your silhouette just doesn't come in all the standard mainstream sizes that may be available at more of your common retailers. But guess what? Mary Bomar, CEO of A Perfect Silhouette, has something for you. Here's how she can disrupt her media traffic. By making sure that she makes herself present where her buyers are and in the moment that they are ready to make their purchases. Just hearing a candid interview like the one you've heard today on Media Traffic Show may be all the decision they need. And if we're talking about you building awareness with your ideal client and customer audience, maybe an interview such as this is all you need. Please get in touch. I'm Tracy Bond, your PR host, doing the PR most on this episode of the Weekly Media Traffic Show, airing right here on the Media Traffic Channel on our home at Women's Broadcast Television Network, WBTVN.TV. Reach out and have a virtual coffee or tea with me at email, media traffic show at gmail. And hopefully, we'll be talking to your audience on screen real soon. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our very next episode.